ladies and gentlemen, I'm uh, just going to recap in terms of what our long-term plan is for health and for seniors housing in the province of Alberta. But before I do that, uh, I was listening to Bob uh, tell us about all of these uh, technological changes and uh, uh, how far we've come in a short period of time. And he was talking about uh, everybody with a little bit of gray. I don't know how much gray I have, but I do know I have less uh, hair than when I started uh, in this role. But I can tell you that uh, there are changes. And it wasn't that long ago. I remember uh, being the youngest of five. My dad was born in 1903, mom in 1906. And you're probably wondering, uh, how is it that uh, my dad was uh, that old uh, or born so young in, in the history of this province uh, that I stand before you? Well, I guess it was a, a poor band that played that night. Mom and dad came home early. Um, <laughs> but I also remember, uh, because the youngest of five, I was the last one in, in, the, in, the, in the tub on Saturday. Uh, Dad was the last, the water was pretty murky uh, by then, but we also knew the, 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 the value of water because we had to carry every gallon in, heat it, and carry everything out. So yes, a lot has happened in, in Alberta, and uh, quite frankly, it is one of the best places uh, in the world uh, to live, uh, minus uh, some of the issues uh, tied to uh, the weather. Now, as I, I watched uh, the, the changes in demographics and population, an aging population in this country of Canada and, and in the province of Alberta. There is something that, that has really uh, bothered me and, uh, and, uh, and government. And that is that as people aged in their own home, married for 60 years, and some member of the family, of you know, husband and wife, perhaps a fall or a stroke or a dementia, that had to leave uh, their partner and be placed in a separate residence. And for some reason, we couldn't put him in the same home after 60 years of marriage. That was the way we did things. We split him for some reason. And that's just not right. So you will see a significant change in the way housing uh, is delivered uh, to our senior population. And we want to keep uh, both husband and wife together as long as they are alive. The other goal is to ensure that the seniors that help build the community can retire in the very same community that they help build. It means you don't have to leave your community to move to live someplace else. So part of the overall plan is to significantly increase the number of uh, seniors' residences, housing, and I call it continuing care across the province of Alberta. And the other goal is to ensure that we do not move the resident when you lose more mobility or perhaps need more health services. We have the ability today to add more services to the place of residence. So you're not moving from a lodge to uh, you know, a, a housing situation where it might be uh, uh, just uh, you know, uh, more health care that's required uh, in a nursing home and then move to long-term care. We'll add services as much as possible to where uh, you are today. And to do that will require a significant amount of investment. And as uh, the mayor mentioned, yes, times are difficult in Alberta. They're difficult everywhere in the world. But now is the best time to invest because uh, the cost of infrastructure has uh, re dr dramatically reduced uh, we're getting much better value for the dollars that we're investing. And we know, we know that we're going to need the housing because people are living longer and will continue to live longer and we're going to need those residences. And the other is that we, if we're going to improve the quality of care and access to acute care, you know, being able to access care in a hospital, we're going to have to find appropriate housing so we can move seniors from a hospital, which is not a home, move them from that facility to the proper facility to, that reflects the needs of the senior. So today is a start uh, here in the community of uh, Tofield, and I do want to thank uh, the Beaver Hill Lodge Foundation for wor working together with the uh, Department of Seniors, with the Government of Alberta, uh, planning, uh, of course, a substantial uh, increase in the number of, of uh, 
beds in the the uh, the town of Tofield, which will be uh, over uh, well, 40, 40 new beds. This will allow more seniors to retire uh, here and enjoy a very, very good quality of life and enjoy the excellent care that's provided. So the, the start is to uh, present this morning to the uh, Beaver Lodge Foundation, Beaver Hill Lodge Foundation, uh, uh, a check in amount of 3.4 million to kickstart the construction. The Lodge Foundation already has the architect in place. They are dealing with various uh, uh, builders in, in terms of uh, expediting the construction of the facility. And uh, I know that Nabil, when he was here, uh, he did uh, uh, thank the government, but uh, uh, I thought he was also going to ask when we're going to four-lane the highway from Edmonton to, <laughs> to Tofield. But that would be the next project uh, here. Uh, can't give you a date today. but uh, So the overall goal, of course, is to improve the quality of life for our seniors. Uh, we're going to do something on Tuesday when we deliver the budget that is unique in the country of Canada, and that is commit to a five-year funding agreement uh, for our health uh, services board, uh, five-year commitment so that we don't have to live year to year. Health is a priority in this province, and we're going to reflect that by giving a five-year uh, funding commitment uh, to our board so we can deliver the appropriate services for our people in the province of Alberta. I think uh, the last number of months, well, let's say 18 months, we've seen uh, huge economic shifts around the world there will be challenges. There will be challenges in the country of Canada, but I, I know that we're going to come out of this uh, economic recession in very, very good shape. This province will be the best position coming out of the recession. A uh, little concerned about what's happening in the United States or our number one market. Uh, that economy is, uh, is faltering, it's diminishing a bit, but uh, that does not mean that we can't access other markets around the world, continue uh, uh, the, the good quality of, of life for, for every Albertans by uh, just uh, diversifying markets, being a little bit more aggressive and ensuring that we position Alberta uh, in the best financial position we can within uh, Canada. So with that, I really do thank you for allowing us to spend some time with you this morning. Uh, I just uh, enjoy getting back to the constituency and I will say that sometimes it's difficult to, to get here on a regular basis. Last night we were in Bonneville opening up the uh, Alberta Winter Games uh, we did our throne speech yesterday. It will be in the constituency all day. But I just want to thank each and every one of you for your support and wish each and every one of you all the best of health. God bless to you all. Thank you so much. And uh, present a little check here. Something, okay? So thank you so much.